I'm back for more, kind of like that rat song. <laughs> back for more. <laughs> I think it was, was that rat or talking? Um, actually, I don't know that song, so. I think it was this rat. This is already, I'm already messing up here. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trivia question for you guys, by the way. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm literally back for more. I had to come back to replay Guitar Exchange today. Uh, Cliff, we are on a mission today. We want to find three hard rock heavy metal amps, but there's a caveat here. I want to make sure they're tube amps, and I want to try to fit this under a grand. It's totally doable here. I get that stuff in all the time. Um, Blackstar, EVH, we get some cool Fender stuff that you can definitely dime up and, and just let it break through. And uh, well, we got you covered. We'll find something for you. Awesome. So I'm going to look around. Cliff is going to help me. I'm going to find three amps that we can play hard rock and heavy metal with. Two amps for under $1,000. And I've got a little special surprise for you guys. I'm actually going to mic these amps up. Oh, real quick, make sure you hang around to the end of the video for some tone talk. <laughs>
So, Jason, which one of these amps was your favorite today? Dude, this is a tough decision, <laughs> especially after hearing them mic'd. You know, it's one thing to play through an amp in the room here, which this room sounds awesome, by yeah. the way. Uh, but it's another thing to hear it actually mic'd up. And I just had a Shure SM57 running through a, a cheap PreSonus interface going into my computer into PreSonus Studio One. So after hearing that, if I were to do like a blind test, I actually think I like the tones from the Black Star. That's awesome. I, I think that Black Star is a very popular amp, very well-rounded amp. I love that you can get some of that British sound or the American sound and you know, we carry them all here. I mean, I know it can be intimidating because we have so many amps and so many selections here. There's a lot in here. But yeah, I, that makes me happy that you picked that amp. So yeah. awesome, good to know. The funny thing is I, I thought that I was gonna go for the EVH because I have an EVH, the EO34 tube, the mm -hmm. 50 watt head at home. And uh, you know, I saw that little EVH over there and I'm like, man, that little thing looks cool. I think it's what, 15 watts or something like that. Yeah, 15 watts of pure rock yeah, and it is, man. It, like, I was really surprised by that. Uh, but, you know, it was like, okay, well, just, again, just like closing my eyes and listening, I favor the Black Star. Now, I will say this. I will say that the little orange amp that I played through, the 15-watch orange amp. The Rocker. Yeah, the Rocker. Yeah, the Orange Rocker 15. That produces a very unique tone. Yes. I Okay, so I'm a big orange fan. It's my favorite. I know, yeah. So... I don't want to sound biased one way or another, but the rocker is very versatile as well because you don't have to, you know, it's got just a good kind of crunch in the middle and several gain stages, but if you dime it, you will definitely get that metal and rock sound. And we tested the clean tones and, you know, surprisingly, every one of these amps sounded pretty good for, for clean. I mean, I don't expect yeah. that, you know? You know, I always think that a good clean tone is really the base of what an amp should be. And if you can add some really nice dirt on top of that, yeah that's really going to be the true tale of the amp. I, you know, I agree with you. I like that. You know, you've got the clean tone, and if you can add a little grit in there and it still sounds good, uh, it, it's going to be a solid amp, especially if it's got that, that pure gain stage right. as well with it. But, yeah, that's kind of the, that's kind of the theme of a really solid amp. But it's it's got to be defined. It's got to be defined. You're right. Yeah, you've got, you've got to have those notes articulated, and you've got to hear them pronounced. So mm -hmm. The cool thing about these amps, you know, every amp I played through the day, the EVH 5150, 15 watt, the Black Star HD Club 40, and this little Orange Rock 15, every one of these amps, you can get a really nice distorted tone and saturation at a lower volume. Yes, that is... That's huge nowadays, too, because yeah. nobody wants to lug around huge amps and, or huge cabs or, no. you know, the whole shebang. It's just easy to move it around and still get that tube sound, that saturation, and keeping it metal, which is, like, the most important thing for you and me. It so. is. That is important, <laughs> man. Yeah. That is super important. Yeah. So, dude, I had a great time playing. Thank you so much for coming, man. We love having you here. Oh, I appreciate you guys. Like, replay is so good to me. Cliff's so good to me. So I uh, really appreciate them. Uh, by the way, guys, I have a link to Replay Guitar Exchange's website in the YouTube description. This is like the store in Tampa to shop at. However, they do online orders too. And that's a big reason why I put these videos out there for you guys. Uh, they do take online orders as well. We do. And we offer free shipping. So take advantage of that. But yeah, definitely check out Replay Guitar Exchange. Again, I've got their link in the description of this YouTube video here. So uh, check them out. And Cliff, dude, thank you so much once again for having me out, man. You're welcome. Thank you for coming, Jason. And until next time, my friend. Yes. Keep it metal, guys.